So today I'm talking about a P0135 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. So what is a P0135 code? Well, it's an O2 sensor heater circuit malfunction, bank one, sensor one. And what does this mean? Well, the onboard computer uses sensors located on exhaust and they do two things. The first thing they do is they monitor how much oxygen was burnt off during combustion. And then the onboard computer uses this information to adjust the air fuel ratio mixture going into the engine. And then the second thing they do is they have heater elements built in. And this does a few things. It helps it go into what is call the closed loop quicker. In V6 and V8 engines, they have two banks and bank one is always the side of the engine with the number one cylinder. So if you find the number one cylinder, that's going to be bank one. And then sensor one will be the second sensor going down on the exhaust on that side. And some possible causes of a P0135 code. Well, it could be a bad sensor, could be in the wiring like an open or short or possibly a blown fuse. And so the first thing to do when you get this code is to go locate bank one, sensor one, oxygen sensor. And there can be some differences depending on the vehicle. Sometimes there could be two sensors. Sometimes they could be four or, and sometimes more so it's always a good idea to go get a diagram of your particular engine and year and things like this it just makes it easier to know exactly where the sensor's at so for example this is a 2007 camry with a 3.5 liter v6 and as you can see bank one sensor one is right here and it's located before the catalytic converter and sensor one is going to be located before the catalytic converter is going to be called the upstream oxygen sensor and sensor two is going to be located after the catalytic converter and it's going to be called the downstream oxygen sensor and so the first thing you do when you find bank one sensor one oxygen sensor is check out the wiring real good be sure everything's plugged in there's no bad connections or anything like that basically just keep in mind anything wrong with the wiring open short bad connection is going to cause the same symptoms as a bad sensor so you want to check that out and make sure that looks good also keep in mind that this is going to be on a fuse and sometimes a relay for example here's the 2005 toyota tacoma and right here this af heater that would be the fuse for these sensors and this one also has a relay and if anything happened with these, then it can cause issues. So that's something to keep in mind. So if you check that all out, you checked out the wiring, you checked out the fuses, that all looks good. There's no issues there. The very likely that sensor has just failed and just needs to be replaced. You can test the sensor if you want to, especially the heater element side. I made a video on how you could test these, which is easy to do if you have a multimeter. I'll put a link down below if you need to check out that video. But the next thing to do is to either test it or replace it because very likely at this point that oxygen sensor has gone bad. One thing to mention with these oxygen sensors, especially sensor one, since they're indented down into the exhaust quite often, you often need this special tool to be able to get them out since commonly they're indented down like this and you need that special tool to go around the wire to get them back in. Not all the time. Sometimes they can be more out in the open where you can use like an open end wrench, but go and look at it because quite often you do need this special tool to be able to get it back in. I'll put a link down below if you need to see what I'm talking about with this special tool. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to make a quick video on how you go about fixing a P0135 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe and have a good day.